say are your three favorite horror movies? Hmm. That's a good question. I mean, I'm obviously partial to Halloween because, uh, you know, I had so much fun doing it. And, uh, and it was innovative for the time, you know. Nobody had been doing horror before that other than some of the old ones, you know, Frankenstein, Dracula, that came back, from, came in from the 30s. So, uh, I, you know, and I, and I don't know if it's because I worked on them, but, uh, you know, some of my three favorites were ones that we did. Uh, the Thing, um, you know, was a, was a lot of fun, uh, a lot of hardship, you know, because we, uh, we were up in the snow, in the real, you know, snow. Uh, a couple of the stages that we built sets on at Universal, we refrigerated, uh, so they were oh, wow. down to almost freezing. So cold was uh, one of the big things, but uh, so the thing I think was came out really well, uh, you know, and, and, and I think it came out well because everybody was so dedicated to it. You know, they they wanted to do a good job. So Halloween and the thing, um, and um, I don't know if he is, is Jurassic Park. A, it's kind of a stretch, but it's you know. It, you know, what? I'd say it counts, especially with the uh, being. Re-released in 3D in like two weeks, right? Yeah, that's uh, it's coming out very soon. That's very exciting. What are you most proud of as a uh, professional? Hmm. Um, well, in general, um, are you you're talking about a specific pro uh, film? Or it can be uh, anything you want. If it's a specific shot, uh, I'm going to get to that question in a bit. Yeah. That one shot that you really love that you um, created? Or well, I, I guess that one of the things I'm proudest of in what I've done, what I do, is the fact that um, that I'll be able to leave something behind, right, that uh, I can go into uh, uh, video stores and, and Walmart and places like that and see, uh, you know, work that I've done. And um, so I, I think to have been part of history you might say, if that's not too pretentious sounding, Absolutely but, not. Um, you know, the, of film history, you know, yeah, I, I watch old movies on TV, you know, Turner Classic Movies, and um, there's so many great films that people have made that uh, I feel honored to be uh, part of the tradition of filmmaking. Is there one shot in particular that you crafted that you feel really speaks volumes for your work as a whole or one shot that you were really proud of in, in your career thus far? Well, you know, the one, one of them that comes to mind immediately is the opening shot of Halloween, uh, the big, long, steady cam shot. Nobody had really done something like that. And John, John was, you know, really very smart about doing something like that, that we, uh, you know, we practiced it over and over, and he was dedicated to doing something unique and, and you know, very, uh, to grab the audience right from the start. So uh, I'm, I'm very proud to have been part of that because, uh, you know, it was, it was a challenge to do something nobody had done before. And, um, you know, as a, as a result, it's sort of, it's one of the signature moments of Halloween. Absolutely. I was recently having a conversation where we discussed the pure creepiness and terror of that first scene with uh, young Michael Myers and with that it's almost difficult to look at modern horror and see where it was to where it is now. Do you have any comments on the trends of the genre or anything like that? Uh, I know a lot of horror right now is in like the found footage type and that almost can be that first person can almost be uh, traced mm -hmm. back to Halloween. So is there anything like that that you want to comment on the current trends of the horror genre? Well, you know, to, to me horror is always something that is uh, most effective when it's in your mind or imagination. And um, I'm, I'm a little, you know, kind of frustrated or disappointed that so much of it now is about splattering blood and, and uh, you know, things like that, that. That it doesn't leave to the imagination. It, it, it tries to lay it out for you specifically as uh, action instead of you know, what, what is really scary, I think, to an audience. What was it like to film the Johnny Be Good scene? 
That is one of my favorite scenes in cinematic history. You know, that was a lot of fun because, you know, I think one of the, the great things about Back to the Future and why it touches so many people is the dramatic irony, the fact that the audience knows something that the characters don't, you know, and, and uh, it, it, it makes you as an audience feel kind of smart but also appreciate, you know, when the, when the characters in the, uh, in the past um, you know, aren't aware of something and we are. And uh, so the, the, um, the, the, the dramatic irony and the fun of the Johnny B. Good sequence is the fact that we just have taken this rock and roll uh, tradition uh, as granted, you know, it's like to to, to, um, to draw attention to where it came from and, and what it's like and the stuff we take for granted is, is really a lot of fun. And and it was fun doing it too because it was it was kind of like. I say that. Thank you so much for the work you've done as a fan, yeah. as an interviewer, and a blogger. It's an incredible experience to interview you, sir. So thank you so much. Mr. Gundy, thank my you. My pleasure, and um, I'm glad to have been participating with this, and um, I look forward to doing some more. Thank you so much, sir. Sure. Well, friends from HorrorHorror.com, Damonopoly, and the great Dean Gundy, thank you very much.